I know it, you know it, and this fucking hoe know it. So, we start off with this video that I was watching on TikTok with this guy. He does like a, he's like a black chank yogurt. You get what I'm saying? He, he, all he does is talk about racial division and stuff like that. So when I see this video, I get suspicious of it. You get what I'm saying? Because it, it doesn't, it, you're not giving me everything when you're describing this person. I can just taste the bias or the, you know what I'm saying? Like the, 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 the liberal side that you're on in every word that comes out your mouth. It's something that has not received the national attention that it deserves. A New York State trooper killed an 11 year old child. This New York State trooper pulled over a family, a family of four, a father, wife, and two children, 11 and 12. He pulled them over for speeding. It was supposed to be a traffic ticket. It ended up being a death. That state trooper is identified as Christopher Baldner. Let me give you some background to this. Back in December, this family was pulled over by that trooper. There was an argument between the driver, a black male father, and the trooper, according to the report. The driver said, can you please call your supervisor? That's part of the protocol, ladies and gentlemen. You can request a supervisor. It is part of their guidebook protocol. Well, instead of getting a supervisor, this trooper continued to argue with this father. Went back to the squad car, according to the report, first at the family. The wife said she was tired. The trooper said, I don't give a F if you're tired. Just continued in that same aggression. He went to the squad car, comes back, and he decides to spray mace into the vehicle indiscriminately, spraying the father, the mother, and the 11 and 12-year-old in the backseat of the car. Instinctively, the father, in fear of his life and the life of his family said this cop is out of control and he proceeded to pull away from all of this pepper spray being sprayed harming his entire family. Well, this cop decided to break policy, got behind this family, this family. He has already seen there's a wife and two children in the car and he rammed their vehicle, not once, but twice. He ejected the 11 year old daughter from the car. She died at the scene. She's dead today. She's no more. Look at this beautiful young soul. She's dead over something that should have been a traffic ticket. He was screaming at me. You were going 100 miles per hour. You shook my car. That's according to the father. I said the tractor trailer in front of me shook your car. I had my hands on the steering wheel. I didn't get out of the car. I was no threat to him. Good said I asked for a supervisor. The father's name is Tristan Goods. Tristan Goods, 39 years of age told the New York Daily News that he was driving his wife, April, and his daughter's 11-year-old Monica and 12-year-old Tristina to go and visit family. My wife... So, I don't believe this shit. So, I, I go looking for the, the actual facts, okay? And I swear for God, oh my God, I went through like every like i'm going i went through too many of these things you get me but they keep giving me nigga facts i don't know i don't know if y'all know what nigga facts is nigga facts is is the the shit only nigga want only niggas need to hear you get what i'm saying i'm like what what is his side of the story can i get his side of the story can you tell me what why he pepper sprayed this guy what made him pepper spray you get what I'm saying? What happened? All you're telling me is that black, 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 black child dies. White cop. That's all you're telling me. These are the nigga facts. These are only things that the niggas need to know. White cop, black child dies, black family, vacation. That's that's it. That's all they telling me. Listen to this shit. I swear. Look, let's let's listen to what? Let's listen to what? Here we go. Here we go. At night, a New York State trooper is facing murder charges following a crash on the New York State Thruway that killed an 11-year-old girl. CBS 2's Corey James has the details. That's not fair. It's not fair. 309 days have passed since Michelle Cernsey's daughter, Monica Goods, was killed. The 11-year-old's life cut short after a New York State trooper crashed into the back of her family's car three days before Christmas last year. We were robbed. 
Cerency's two daughters and their father were traveling near mile marker 92 when they were pulled over for speeding by Trooper Christopher Baldner. Officials say during that stop, Baldner sprayed pepper spray into their car, and that is when the children's father drove away. The Attorney General's office says a police chase then took place, and Baldner allegedly rammed his patrol car into the back of the family's car twice, causing it to flip over several times, killing this young girl. The judge who handled this arraignment remanded this officer which demonstrates the seriousness of these charges. Murder as the top charge. According to officials, this was not the trooper's first crash on the New York State Thruway. Back in January of 2017, Governor Hochul said Baldner hit someone on Interstate 87 in Ulster County. Then two years later, near the same area, Baldner allegedly crashed into another vehicle, seriously injuring three people and causing grave risk of death. And we cannot allow someone that has a history to be on any police force. Well, the New York State Troopers Benevolent Association released a statement saying its condolences go out to the family. This mom hopes no other family will have to face their pain. The trooper Baldwin needs to be convicted and sent to jail. Okay, you, you see that? They told us nothing about his side of the story. You get what I'm saying? All they did was give us sad this, sad that. Now, granted, I am I am for truth, okay? I don't like lies, okay? I do not like that this cop rammed these people when these fucking when this fucking uh when these kids in there. You get what I'm saying? Uh I don't like that. I don't like that this little kid died. That pisses me off. I don't like that. You get me, kid? kid i ain't about color it's about that you did something reckless and a little kid died but for one thing the father fucking sped off you get what i'm saying i get that he got pepper spray probably got scared took off you get what i'm saying uh still you were speeding when you got stopped you get what i'm saying i i don't i don't look i can't i need more i need more information but they keep just giving me nigga facts here we go. More nigga facts. Breaking news tonight. A New York State trooper is indicted for the murder and the death of a young girl. Good evening. I'm Dana Tyler. We begin with that breaking news. The trooper facing murder charges following the crash on the New York State Thruway. An 11-year-old child was killed. CBS 2's Corey James joining us in downtown Brooklyn after hearing from the girl's family just moments ago. Corey? And Dana, the 11-year-old's mother of Monica Good spoke with us inside of her attorney's office about an hour and a half ago detailing that painful day when she, along with her two daughters and their father, were inside of their car traveling to visit loved ones when that deadly accident took place. According to authorities, this all happened when state trooper Christopher Baldner pulled the family's car over for speeding near mile marker 92 in Ulster County. Officials tell us during that stop, Trooper Baldner spray-peppered or sprayed pepper spray, rather, into the car, and that's when Monica Good's father drove away. A police chase then took place, and Baldner allegedly rammed his patrol car into the back of the family's car twice, causing it to flip over several times, killing Goods, who was thrown from the vehicle. Her mom speaking out, saying this is just the beginning of their fight. I didn't lose one child that day. I lost two. Because Christina will never be the same. Trooper Baldner needs to be convicted and sent to jail. This all happened just three days before. Okay, why isn't the father speaking out? Is that the father behind her? You get what I'm saying? Trooper, her daughter, speak, the mother is speaking out. Why isn't the father speaking out? What's going on? You get what I'm saying? I, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. You see me? You keep telling me about what them. You get me? Now, this happened a year ago. This video happened a year ago. We all know what was going on in this country a year ago. You get me? Black Lives Matter every goddamn well. Patrice Kungula making money off the shit and everything. All white people got to die. You get what I'm saying? This is it. You get me? And this is why I'm not, I'm not, I'm okay. I need more. What's going on? What's up with the cop? Why, why are you not talking about the daddy? Who is the daddy? Point him. Tell me what he feel about being pepper spray. Why he was pepper spray. You get me? But you're not. You get me? You're just giving me one side of the fucking story. That's why I don't feel shit. I can't feel anything because I it's up it's 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 nothing there. This is this is this is like a movie that has no fucking substance. I keep looking. 
Uh, I'm looking, looking. Let's see, one more. We gotta do one more, and then I'm, and then I'm done with this shit. Cause I done looked all over for everything. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, if I find anything else, I'll let y'all know. But let's see one more though. It's been almost a year since 11-year-old Monica Good died when she was ejected from her family's vehicle. On Wednesday, New York State Attorney General Letitia James oh announced God, a criminal she's... indictment oh on God. murder and other charges for New York State uh... Trooper Christopher Baldner, Monica's mother, Michelle Surrency. What about the father? Know the fight isn't over. This is just the beginning. Z Family attorney Sanford Rubenstein. This is the first step in the journey for justice for this family for the wrongful death of a beautiful 11 year old girl and her sister who was injured psychologically and physically. I didn't lose one child that day, I lost two. Because Christina will never be the same. Uh, Trooper Baldner pulled over Monica's father for speeding on the New York State Thruway last December, upstate in Ulster County. Monica's father allegedly drove off after Baldner sprayed him with pepper spray Why he with his wife, with pepper Monica, spray? and her sister inside the car. After a chase, Trooper Baldner then allegedly used a patrol vehicle to ram the car, which flipped ejecting and killing Monica. That was Baldwin needs to be convicted and sent to jail. Not just an indictment. We need to get him fully prosecuted and, and we you know, need to figure out who your husband is. He has committed against my children. Oh, uh, nigga facts. Trooper Baldwin remains in custody and will seek bail during his next court hearing scheduled for November 4th.